new tonight, a new state law is making big changes in Guilford County. The bill removes a Guilford County school board member from his seat and adds civil boards to police and fire departments. WFM 1 News 2's Daniel Cruz found out how this new law will impact you and our first responders. Earlier this year, a loophole in legislation passed in Raleigh allowed for Bill Goble to be appointed and sworn into the Guilford County School Board. But late last night, lawmakers passed a bill that would call for the removal of the Guilford County Republican. However, Goble's attorney, Chuck Winfrey, says the legislation, it's not legal. Winfrey says the law allows for legislators to unseat the full board, but does not allow for the removal of a single individual. He says Goble was legally sworn in and based on the law, remains an active member of the school board. Our law does not allow our legislature to remove uh, individual members without cause. If they, you know, commit some crime or they do something where they can be impeached, that's one thing. But you can't just remove them because you'd rather have your friends in office. The Guilford County Republican Party has pushed for Goebel's removal since his appointment last December. The party nominated Michael Logan at that point to fill the vacancy, but he has never got the votes he needed from the school board members. Goebel says that he wants to move forward past the partisan politics and do what's best for students. I keep saying the main thing, the main thing is, and that's the kids and the parents of the kids. Forget about Bill Goebel, forget about Michael Logan, what's right for the kids. The other change involves the implementation of civil service boards in both Greensboro and Winston-Salem. Five people will be chosen to serve on the board that would hear grievances and personnel matters within the police and fire departments. Mayor Nancy Vaughn supports the idea, but some council members in Greensboro felt that it would limit already existing powers and cost the city more money. Typically, opponents would contend that it may constrain or take away the discretion of city employees like police or fire chiefs. Proponents of civil service boards would contend that uh, that it would add an additional layer of due process in employment and discipline decisions. The bill does call for city managers to find funding for civil service board members. As for Greensboro, the latest budget proposal was already very strict and it also included a property tax hike.